The Challenger Space Shuttle disaster, which occurred on January 28, 1986, has been subject to various misconceptions and misinterpretations by the public over the years. The truth behind the causes and effects of the disaster is essential to understand its magnitude. Join us as Facts First History presents what really caused the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. The Origin of the Challenger the Challenger Space Shuttle disaster on January 28, 1986, stands as one of the most devastating moments in the history of space exploration. The explosion of the Challenger shuttle just 73 seconds after liftoff claimed the lives of all seven crew members, including Krista McAuliffe, a civilian schoolteacher who had captured the world's attention. This tragic event not only shattered the dreams of those on board, but also shook the public's confidence in the space program and raised significant concerns about about the safety and reliability of space travel. To understand the significance of the Challenger disaster, it's essential to examine the context in which it occurred. The space shuttle program, initiated in the 70s, aimed to provide a reusable spacecraft capable of carrying both cargo and human crews into orbit. The reusable orbiter, named Columbia, made its maiden flight in 1981, followed by the Challenger in 1983. These shuttles were lauded as technological marvels, offering new opportunities for scientific research, satellite deployment, and space exploration. On that fateful day in 1986, the Challenger shuttle was set to launch from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. But unforeseen circumstances, including cold weather, presented potential risks. The O-rings, crucial components sealing the joints of the rocket boosters, were particularly susceptible to failure in cold temperatures. Despite reservations and internal concerns expressed by engineers, NASA decided to proceed with the launch. What went wrong? The world watched in awe as the Challenger lifted off, but just seconds after the launch, a fireball erupted and the shuttle disintegrated into pieces. The tragedy unfolded before the eyes of millions, leaving a lasting impact on the collective memory of a generation. The Challenger disaster prompted an extensive investigation, revealing a series of failures and oversights. The primary cause was traced back to the failure of the O-rings, which allowed hot gases to escape and subsequently ignite the external fuel tank. The low temperature that day had compromised the O-ring's ability to seal properly. Moreover, institutional pressures and a culture of overconfidence within NASA contributed to a lack of communication and a failure to address ongoing concerns regarding the O-rings. The immediate impact of the disaster was the loss of seven brave astronauts. The global shock and mourning were accompanied by a significant setback for NASA, leading to the suspension of the space shuttle program for over two years. Public trust in the agency was severely damaged, raising questions about safety standards and decision-making processes. The long-term impact of the disaster was profound. It prompted a fundamental reassessment of NASA's practices, focusing on safety, communication, and transparency. The Rogers Commission, appointed to investigate the disaster, made several recommendations that led to substantial changes in NASA's organizational structure and operational procedures. The lesson learned from this tragedy paved the way for a renewed commitment to ensuring the safety of astronauts and the reliability of space travel. The Impacts of the Challenger Disaster the Challenger Space Shuttle disaster was an unprecedented tragedy that forever changed the course of space exploration. This catastrophic event revealed the dangers inherent in space travel and the need for constant vigilance and attention to safety protocols. The loss of seven brave souls served as a stark reminder of the risks involved in pushing the boundaries of human exploration. Following the Challenger disaster, NASA undertook a comprehensive review of its procedures and protocols. The agency implemented new numerous safety improvements, including enhanced testing of critical components, stricter launch criteria, and a more rigorous assessment of potential risks. Furthermore, NASA established a new Office of Safety, Reliability, and Quality Assurance to ensure that safety remained a top priority. The Challenger disaster also had a profound impact on the public's perception of space exploration. It brought to light the inherent risks and dangers associated with venturing into the unknown. It sparked debate about the value of human space travel and the need for robust safety measures to protect astronauts. Moreover, the Challenger disaster prompted a renewed emphasis on the importance of education and public outreach in the space program. 
Krista McAuliffe, the civilian school teacher aboard the Challenger, had been selected to participate in NASA's Teacher in Space project, which aimed to inspire students and educators by bringing the wonders of space exploration into classrooms. And although the project was tragically cut short, it ignited a passion for science and exploration in countless students around the world. At the end of the day, the Challenger space shuttle disaster was a heartbreaking event that forever changed the landscape of space exploration. It exposed crucial flaws within NASA's decision-making processes and safety protocols, leading to a significant re-evaluation of procedures and a renewed commitment to astronaut safety. The legacy of the Challenger disaster serves as a reminder of the risks and sacrifices involved in pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. It also highlights the importance of continuous improvement and learning from tragedy to ensure a safer and more successful future for space exploration. Common Misconceptions while the disaster surrounding the Challenger space shuttle is widely talked about, there are some common misconceptions. One of the most prevalent is that the explosion was caused solely by the failure of the solid rocket booster O-rings. While the O-rings did play a significant role, there were other contributing factors. Another misconception is that NASA ignored warnings about the O-ring issues. In reality, there were concerns raised by engineers about the O-ring's performance in cold temperatures. However, these concerns were not adequately communicated to higher-level decision-makers, and the severity of the risks was not fully understood by all parties involved. There is also a misconception that the Challenger crew died instantly upon the explosion. The crew cabin actually actually remained intact after the initial breakup of the shuttle, and it's believed that some or all of the crew members may have survived the initial accident. But the forces and extreme conditions experienced during the descent would have been fatal. Lastly, there's a misconception that the Challenger disaster marked the end of the space shuttle program. While the accident did lead to a suspension of shuttle flights for nearly three years, the program eventually resumed and continued until its retirement in 2011. The Challenger disaster, however, did result in significant changes to the shuttle program's safety measures and procedures. One thing that hasn't helped much are the portrayals of the disaster in the media. Unsurprisingly, it's been portrayed in film and on television. One of the most notable is the 1990 TV movie Challenger, directed by Glenn Jordan. It stars Karen Allen as Krista McAuliffe. The movie focuses on the events leading up to the launch and the subsequent investigation. While the film received positive reviews, some critics noted that it took certain dramatic liberties and condensed the timeline of events. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you remember watching the Challenger explosion? Is it seared in your memory? Let us know in the comments section below.